so what you like to see is that there's a correlation between your maps or your 3D projector and what you're seeing on your raw EEG. It gives you the confidence that <laughs> this is real, right? The confidence that what you're doing, is, you're looking at the, at the uh, that what you're looking at represents the, the real physiology. This is brain DX. Now, one thing I find kind of cool uh, about live projectors is that you can actually isolate different regions. Now, I can just look at it and just look at the frontal lobe, so that, that really doesn't tell me a whole lot. But I can slide down to the bottom here and I can look at the default mode network. And then I can see whether the default mode network is deregulated and how much. And in what frequency bands. I can just change this back to delta again. And you get a, a, an idea of the default mode network. Or you can go to the different Hagman networks. And you can say, okay, well, let's try Agnet 1, primary visual cortex, deficiency in the delta band, back to that alpha band again. That's bad. Not really deficiency there. I'm going to look at Hagman 2, uh, dorsal attention network. That looks pretty bad. Now you think about, okay, well, how do I correlate structure with function? Does this person have to do focus attention? You know, uh, and this is uh, alpha. We go to the delta band. Let's go to the beta. All for sure. Yeah, he's a hard time paying attention. Agnum 3, left sided, temporal, speech and language, receptive, speech and language. Pretty nasty there, too. Again, you want to correlate presenting symptoms <coughs> with, the, um, with the findings 